Good morning, this is Mark James with Rapid Mortgage. As we are dealing with this crazy market of 2021, we are getting a lot of questions from real estate agents about how to navigate the market between waiving appraisals, cash buyers, appraisal gap, right? There's all kinds of terminology that we didn't commonly use last year um, that's becoming part of every single offer conversation. Um, so I just wanted to put this out, kind of educate us from a lending perspective, what the differences between these three things are. Um, so really there's three different avenues to try to cover part of the appraisal. One is appraisal gap, basically meaning that you cover a defined amount of dollars between where the appraisal comes in and your offer price. So if we're talking appraisal gap, it's a $200,000 listing, you offer 220,000, you agree to cover a $20,000 appraisal gap. That means that if the home only appraises at 200 instead of your offer price of 220, the buyer is agreeing to bring that 20,000 on top of any down payment and normal closing costs. So it is truly dollar for dollar above and beyond what they were going to bring to the table before. And that's the appraisal gap, which is what we're seeing a lot of. You know, obviously everybody's trying to get aggressive, trying to find creative ways to put offers in. So we get a lot of calls from real estate agents saying, can the buyer just waive the appraisal, right? Can they just waive it all together, not a defined appraisal gap? Uh, but there's a couple different things when it comes to lending, right? If it's a cash buyer, they can absolutely waive the appraisal 100%, no need to have one done. If they're getting a loan on the property, it is unlikely that they can do a true appraisal waiver. What they're in essence doing is waiving their appraisal contingency. So what that means is as a lender, very likely we are still going to need to do an appraisal. So if they offer 250 on a house that is you know, currently listed at 200 and waive their appraisal contingency, I still need to do an appraisal as the lender. If my appraisal comes in at 170, they're gonna to have to cover that full $80,000 difference between the 250 offer price and the appraised value. So if you do an appraisal contingency waiver, we're still gonna to have to do an appraisal and they're gonna to have to cover the gap of the entire amount. You're basically doing an unlimited or infinite appraisal gap if you're working through that strategy. Again, a true appraisal waiver, the only way that that works is Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac do have a system where lenders can run a borrower and a property through their system and potentially get a waiver of appraisal. The hard part with that right now is Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac both use 12 month trailing data. So they're gonna average the sale prices in the neighborhood over the last 12 months. We know everything has increased significantly during that time period. So if somebody's offering 220 on a home that maybe would have appraised for 190 last year, we're not gonna get that appraisal waiver. The house very well may be worth the 220, especially in the market with everything that's out there, but we're not gonna get a true appraisal waiver. But again, we can run that through, we can give it a shot. That's really only gonna work with buyers putting 15, 20% or more down. Um, if the buyer's only putting 5% down, we have zero chance of getting a complete appraisal waiver. Um, so just something to kind of think through the different terminology. Appraisal gap is a defined amount of money that you're willing to cover. A, the waiver of the appraisal contingency in the contract is an infinite appraisal gap, meaning you're gonna cover the 100% of the difference between the appraised value and the offer price. And then the true appraisal waiver can be accomplished only with cash buyers, or if the lender runs it through you know, Freddie Mac or Fannie Mae's system and gets the waiver. But again, it's unlikely, I'm only getting it maybe one or 2% of the time right now. We're willing to try it on every single file. Um, it's just not something that you can count on. So if you have questions about how to put your offers together, what your clients can afford, can they really waive the appraisal contingency? You know, we are well, very well versed in this. I have conversations on this 10 to 15 times a day. Would love to talk through your client scenario and help put them in the strongest offer that they can actually deliver on. We've seen a lot of people trying to put offers in, waiving appraisal contingency, but the buyer only has five thousand dollars in excess cash back that's going to be a problem once that gets into contract the appraisal gets done and all of a sudden it's a thirty thousand dollar shortage and they don't have the money to cover it and we don't want you or your clients to be in that scenario so if you have questions about appraisal gap appraisal contingency waiver or true appraisal waiver please reach out to us we'd be happy to talk through it with you